Uh, you gave us a lift today. Thanks for the great <laughs> questions and the great energy. Ava and Anjanu, congratulations to you two ladies on this film. I've been wanting to chat with you since I saw it back at TIFF. And I was at the premiere, Ava, and you did an amazing Q&A after. And my girlfriend and I have not sobbed harder in a movie theater in, like, years. So we absolutely loved it. Congratulations. Thank you. That was a beautiful screening. I'm glad you were there. Oh, absolutely. And I loved your Q&A after. Ava, I am curious for you. I thought you wrote a fantastic screenplay, and it must have been so hard adapting this incredible novel. I'm wondering if you were always going to plan on including Al Bright's story in there, because that was easily one of the best sequences in the film. And one of my favorite shots is, is when Isabel lies down to Al, and you just like touch his face and say, you're going to be OK. That was just so moving. Did you always plan on including that sequence in the screenplay and film? It makes me so happy when people talk about specific scenes that are in their head and that they that sticks with them. So thanks for, for pointing that out. And no, you're the first person to ask me that. No, it wasn't originally in the script. So I had made a I had written a script, and you know I have several drafts of scripts. One of my drafts did not have Albright in it. And a good friend of mine said, "Where's Where's my favorite story from the book?" And I said, well, I'm not, I'm not sure. That good friend was Oprah Winfrey. And I said, well, I'm not sure it, it, it fits. I don't know if I need it. And she said, you've got to be kidding me. That is what we all want to see. I said, I think that's what you want to see, respectfully. I'm not sure everybody wants to see it. I said, I think we get it. Like, this is about big stuff. And she says, yes, but the big stuff is inside the little stuff. Mm -hmm. Just take a look at it. And when I finally came up with the idea because in the book, Isabel doesn't enter into his scene. My way into it was, yes, you see what happens to him, but it's the moment that you talk about when the two of them meet. When earlier in the film she says, I want to be inside the story, really inside the story. And by the end of it, she finds her way inside of the story through him, and they're in the same frame. That was when I said, ah, this will work. Um, but yes, he wasn't always there. You're the first one to ask me that, and I'm the first. I'm to tell you that for the first time. I love that, and yes. as always, Queen Oprah Winfrey is right. She, so you definitely are right to include it. You know, <laughs> next time I won't. I won't resist. Yes. <laughs> Anjanu, for you, I thought this is a career-defining performance, and I love the video that Ava put on her Instagram about you promoting the film outside of the theater. I don't know any other actors in the world who would do something like that. You do such an incredible job as Isabel just decompressing grief while she is researching this book. So how did you decompress after filming each day? Because you obviously had to go so through so much as an actor here. I felt exhilarated. I didn't. I didn't need to do that. I. 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 I felt like I was doing. Why? I, I felt like I was doing what I'm supposed to do, whatever that is. However, I feel if you feel that you have a reason to be here on, on on Earth, like what your path is supposed to be, and I felt like I was walking in that. I was walking in that the footsteps of what. I'm supposed to be doing while I'm here on on this earth, and that's exhilarating. What's tiring is when you feel like you're not doing that. Um, but I I went home. I was tired. I'm not gonna say that. You know, I I was tired, but it was a good tired because I felt like I was doing I felt like I was doing worthy and necessary work. Hmm. Absolutely. I think this film should be studied in schools, honestly, and the two of you did absolutely incredible work here. They are wrapping me. I'm so excited for more audiences to see Origin. Ava, I think this is the best thing you've ever done. And like I said, Anjanu, I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and it was wonderful to see you just light up in every single scene because you carried this film, and you were so fantastic. I truly mean that. So uh, you gave us a lift today. Thanks for the great <laughs> questions and the great yeah. energy. Thank you. Thank you, Ava and Anjanu. Congratulations again. John, how are you today? Really good. Thank you for doing this, Lauren. Of course. I loved Origin so much. I've seen it twice. I saw it at the Toronto Film Festival, and it was the hardest I've cried in a theater all year. And your performance is fantastic. This is like a totally different character um, from anything you've done. So congratulations to you, first of all. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you dug the film. Yeah, it's funny. I was rewatching Widows last week and I was like, I'm dying to talk to John. He's been in so many of my favorite 
films. And now I have this interview with you. So I'm so excited to chat with you about origin. I know you're from DC too. Are you a Washington Commanders fan? <laughs> yes, I am. I am. No, come hell or high water. I'm, I'm, I'm with, I'm with that team. Yes. yes Who was going to be their new head coach? Do you think? We'll see. We'll see. And I think, you know, Ron was, was, uh, I, I think a great man. I think it never really quite gelled, but I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, we remain always optimistic for that team. You know what I mean? No matter what, no matter what comes at us. I loved your character, Brett, in here, and it's so different than anything you've done. I thought you and Anjanu had incredible chemistry. And your character, Brett, says he has a great line that's a big theme in the film. He says, you can't live your life based on and what's being intimidated, you know, by other people. And I'm curious if you spoke with Isabel about Brett and if she gave you any type of insight about his character at all you know that was actually one of the most challenging things about the film is that you know we didn't we we, we had no contact with her at all i think isabel you know different filmmakers have different kind of theories on this some people want you to dive in fully with the real people some people like to keep a barrier i think isabel really wanted ava to do her thing here and and she gave the book and then you know ava wrote this adaptation and then it was sort of you know ava's version of this and 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 i, and I think you, you know, I think that really worked. I think, I think, you, you know, to, to sort of try to take that book and adapt it into a screenplay and, 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 and make a movie that's, you know, human and harrowing and entertaining, but also, you know, really delivers on the sociological and, 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 and sort of philosophical, uh, uh, you know, theories in the book, but to do it in a way that doesn't feel spoon fed and doesn't feel like medicine, it's an extraordinarily hard thing to do. And I think with Brett and this relationship, sort of in the center of it, you know, I think she really needed Anjanu and I to kind of build that relationship and make it ours. Um, so I had a lot of discussion with Anjanu. We, re we really tried to kind of figure out the, the, the flavor and the, and the, and the tenor of, of, of what that relationship was. And, um, you know, there's not that much of it, but it's got to have, you know, real resonance because it's got to kind of be with her as she goes forward. And, um, you know, and, 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 and I feel like uh, I feel really good about it. I feel really good about the relationship that we built both on screen and off. Oh, absolutely. You guys had absolutely incredible chemistry. Last quick question for you, because I know they're going to wrap me soon. I love listening to your podcast, Real Ones, and you're an interviewer yourself. I'm curious if who was like your most surprising guest you've had in regards to conversation, because you're always talking to people who are, you know, always fighting for what's right in the world. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you checking us out. It's not an easy thing, and I don't think I'm very good at it. You know, I try to lead with my heart. Uh, you, you, you know, a lot of the folks that I talk to are people that have never been on camera before and that have never been interviewed. And um, so, so I, I'm really blown away by people's courage, uh, not, not, not their ability to open up, but their courage and, and, and their willingness. And so many of the special forces soldiers I talk to, uh, so many of the people that have done these just unbelievably extraordinary things, to be able to talk about it and talk about, you know, the losses that they've suffered and the, uh, suffered and the, and, and the courage that it's taken to kind of do the things that they've done. I'm just so in awe of them. And um, I'm just deeply, deeply grateful that, 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 that they want to do it because ultimately, you know, I, I want my kids, I want everybody's kids to kind of learn from these folks. And they're, they're exactly the folks that I think we should be talking to. Yeah, I think it's awesome that you're talking to the people, like you said, who are not in front of the camera. That's one of my favorite things about it. Well, John, they are wrapping me again. Congratulations to you on Origin. I'm so excited for more audiences to see this film. And I'm waiting for The Accountant too. by the way. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting on it real soon. Okay, awesome. I'm dying to see you and Ben together again. Thank you so much for your time I today. I appreciate you, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you, John. Bye. Bye. Nisi, so nice to meet you. You look amazing, by the way. I'm obsessed with your hair today. Great. Yes, I'm so excited to chat with you. I've been a fan for so long. Never have I ever. I'm obsessed with Scream Queens is my favorite of yours and also Dahmer. So and you were fantastic as Marion in this film. I saw it twice and it's one of my favorites of the year and you were absolutely exceptional. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Like I said, one of my favorite parts of the film was watching the relationship between yours and Anjanu's characters, uh, Marion and Isabel, and how it really just helped them. And I have so many close-knit girlfriends. I'm wondering who are those women in your life that are your closest friends and help uplift you and support you? 
Oh, well, uh, one of them would be our film's director, Ava DuVernay. Um, the other one is my dear friend and talk show host, Sherry Shepard. <laughs> um, and um, my um, my chosen sister, she's another actress and writer named Kelly Stewart. Those would be my, they, they're right up at the top. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love that. Well, this, I was just talking to Anjanu and um, I love how, you know, this film is so emotional and has so many emotional scenes, you know, decompressing grief and everything. And I'm curious when you were filming, what did you do at the end to kind of decompress after you were filming that day? Oh, you know, I'll tell you that um, my better half is always my soft place to land, you know, and um if she wasn't, you know, in town when I was filming, then I, as soon as they yell cut, I'm on the phone trying to unpack my day and get a little, you know, I feel like I needed to stand in the light so that, you know, um, so that I could have the wherewithal to get up and do it all again the next day. Yeah, I love that you and Jessica are so cute together. I love you mentioning that. <laughs> And Scream Queens is incredible. Of course, your performance in Dahmer is incredible. So I have to mention those two. And of course, you're working with Ryan Murphy. My favorite quote of yours in Scream Queens is, Shondell, why you got a knife in your throat? My girlfriends and I are always cracking up over that line. We just rewatched it during the Halloween season. And I wanted to know what your favorite memories of working on Scream Queens were because it has such a big cult following now and it's such a beloved series. Oh, wow. You know, I, you know what I really loved a lot where, were um, the scenes that I had with Kiki Palmer. Oh, I love Kiki. I always thought that Zayday was guilty. You Zayday know, Williams is guilty. I know she's the killer. <laughs> I knew that she was the killer. And um, um, that was just such a fun part to play, you know, um, because she's, you know, she believes herself so, <laughs> she, <laughs> she just believes that she has got it all figured out. She's a lot of fun to play. Oh, she definitely was. Um, I love hearing you say that because, yes, you and Kiki had incredible uh, chemistry and it was so fun to watch your two characters in that show. Well, Nisi, they are wrapping me. I could chat with you all day, but I really appreciate your time today. And I'm so excited for more audiences to see your performance here as Marion in Origin. My girlfriend and I saw it in Toronto and again recently, and we've never cried harder in a theater. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you, Nisi. Bye.